Good afternoon. What I enjoy about YouTube is that I get a lot of good feedback on how I might have approached a photograph differently and how I can improve my videos. However, my last video, I got a comment that most of my photos were pretty mediocre. End of comment. That was it. So it made me think that for us as photographers, many, if not most, of our photographs are indeed mediocre. I remember having a conversation a couple of years ago with a fellow photographer and we came up with a 1% rule. We thought to ourselves that most of our photographs that we take are indeed average. They may even be like snapshots. 5% of those photographs would be good and perhaps 1% of them would be of the quality that you'd want to see hung up in a gallery. Actually over the last five years as I've taken photography more and more seriously, I even begin to question that 1% rule and think it may even be less than that. So over the next minute and a half, what I'd like to do is share with you the photographs that I've had displayed in galleries over the last four years. When you're watching them, I'd like you to think, are these great? Are these good? Are these mediocre? But most importantly, what I'd like you to do is as you're looking at them, if you see one that you think is mediocre or could be improved, Think to yourself, how would I have improved that if I had been in that similar situation, similar lighting conditions, etc. So tell me, what did you think? Were they good? Were they great? Or is there a sprinkling of mediocre ones in there? So the irony is that I consider a number of those photos to be mediocre as well, notwithstanding the fact that these were all selected by juries panels, which included uh, gallery directors and academics in photography. You would think that the fact that these have all been selected by panels, that there would be a consensus that these are great or very good or at least good photographs. But to me that signals that there is a tremendous amount of variance in opinion on what constitutes a mediocre versus a great photograph. So for example, there's one photograph in there with the light coming out of the bay window into the darkened alley. I can't stand that photograph and I have no idea how that uh, got selected by the jury. I threw that in at the last moment and I was very surprised that that was selected. However, on the other hand, there's the picture of my wife eating a croissant. I love that photograph. There's just something about it that uh, really resonates with me. So let's just admit it. There's a lot of mediocre photography on YouTube, but I think this represents a great opportunity. Spend your time looking at those mediocre photographs. Don't just say they're mediocre, but put yourself into the photographer's position. How would you have approached it differently? So use your experience as a photographer to help these photographers. Good photo. Have you thought what it might look like in black and white to really emphasize some of the shadows and the highlights? That's a really cool photo. 
I see you're standing next to a window. Have you thought about using the reflections in the window to add a bit more depth to your photographs? I've been serious about photography now for about five years. If I had received that comment early on in my career, I might not produce any more photographs. I might just give up. Or if I was new to YouTube, similarly, I might give up. Be constructive with your criticism. Offer this as a learning opportunity to the photographer, and I think it'll also give you an opportunity to critique photographs as well. We all need to learn. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this channel, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much.